one. <laughs> you can have that one. I got Daryl. I got Daryl. Oh, nice. Bang. Daryl, like, you know, have zombies here, right? Norman, which one did you get? I uh, brought a Frankenstein over there. Pull the hit boom. Yeah. Okay. Big oh. day. It's a scorcher today. It's hot. All right. All cameras are rolling. All weapons are hot. Action! Enough. We are shooting what is perhaps the biggest scene of the entire season. We got shot today. We were hungry, and we're gonna go get some some food, right? Yeah. You guys, you're going from there's food. There's food. Bang. With a stunt person, there's always a certain amount of risk. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a stunt. Normally, we CGI all that stuff, and this is the first time we've had a bunch of very big squib hits. The four stunt guys have rather big explosions on them. They're uh, shotgun blast, bullet hit, and then they fake the uh, hit to the head, which uh, special effects will put in later. They've got bullet hits on front and back, and so the cameras are gonna see it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Be Mark. Today we have a number of people firing weapons. We have three 9 millimeters and two shotguns, 12 gauge shotguns firing. First of all, as they come out of the barn, they're about 35 to 40 feet away, so we're gonna use full loads and wide cameras so we see more of the flash coming out. Make sure nobody gets in this range. If they cross this range, don't point your guns at them anymore, okay? We need a bigger crane! Right now we're actually setting up for the climatic moment of the episode, which is when, unfortunately, we find out that Sophia is in the barn. With Sophia, we wanted there to be this great moment where when she steps out of the barn, you're not sure if she's alive or not because the makeup was subtle enough that it kind of looked a little bit like maybe she was okay. I don't want them to be expecting it. I want them to be like totally thrown off guard. We didn't want her to be hideous. She still needed to be recognizable. So we sculpted a really slight prosthetic to make her eyes look a little sunken in and pronounce her cheekbones. Then we put a big bite wound on back of her shoulder. You see this ghastly chunk of skin missing and the blood that had run down the back of her neck. And the idea was that she was probably grabbed from behind and bitten on the shoulder. It's smushy. But I'm not touching the blood part because it's sticky. I think it took like an hour and a half, or maybe two hours. It was this gross thing, like a bump, to make it look like my nose was caving in, and I kept touching it because it felt weird and it looked awful. Hold your breath and close your eyes for this part. Madison, God, what a trooper, you know? To take a little kid and expect them to process going through the makeup, wearing the contact lenses, the dentures, all that stuff, but she was fantastic. Action, Madison! I didn't go to zombie school. Start coming towards the food. There was dead bodies from like the people before that had come out of the barn. And I had to step over them and I kind of stepped on their hands sometimes and I kind of kicked their heads and I'm just like, I'm so sorry. If you're shuffling along and you bump into somebody, that's okay. Yeah. You know, because a, a zombie would probably do that. It would probably bump into something rather than just pick its way through. I'm just not supposed to look down. So I couldn't look down to see and step my way through. Here comes food, it's getting closer. What felt natural for me was to go faster because food was like coming at me. Slow, Madison, closer. nice and slow. But they were telling me to go like really slow and it was hard for me to go really, really slow. But I better look good on camera. <laughs> it's her ankles though that really get me. I just look at her little ankles and they're just like tiny. And she's just so fragile. My girlfriend, Madison, gets put down today. Growing, growing very fond of Maddie, so I'm a little bummed out. It's not easy to leave your first job. It takes a piece of your heart out. Look at your growl. It's one of the most moving moments of the season because our characters have spent eight episodes building to finding her. She steps out and it changes every one of our characters. Cut it. Very nice. This was an unbelievably ambitious two days. Thank you so, so much.
episode Sunday nights at 9, only on AMC. For more exclusive video, go to amctv.com.